Hi everybody, today we're continuing to read the book Impressionism 13 Artists That Children Should Know and today we're reading Claude Monet. Claude Monet preferred to paint landscapes and often he did so when out of the doors. Painting outside makes complete sense to us today, but back then the artists painted landscapes in studios basing their pictures on a drawing or on their own imagination. Born for November 14, 1840 in Paris, died December 6, 1926 in Germany. Monet fell in love with his model Camille Dantio. She also became his wife and they had two sons. Camille died in 1879 at just 32 years of age. Monet lived until he was 86. Monet recognized that colors and nature were different from those seen paintings by the old masters. These pictures often showed nature in even light with gray or black shadows. But in nature, colors of objects vary depending on their setting on the light falls upon them, and shadows are not simply gray or black, but can be colorful. For example, on a sunny day in snow-covered landscape, shadows have a bluish hue because of the sky. This is what Monet and his friends recognized. Monet wished to paint outdoors no matter what, given that outside light could change in at any moment. He needed to adopt a completely different method of painting. Monet's solution was to apply paint on canvas with quick, short strokes of brush. Detail did, did not interest him as much as the overall effect and the impressionism got from seeing the picture. For these reasons, he called his best known painting Impressionism Summarized. It shows a harbor sense in the morning mist. Monet focused not on dark works or the ships, but on the atmosphere of the sunrise. Sunrise through the fog. When he exhibited the painting at the show in 1874, there was a great commotion. People argued that Claude simply could not paint well and that this picture was not really a painting at all. For Monet, though it was. Imagine, and I'm going to show you. This is this Impressionism prize right over here. And about it, 1872, Musée Mammont in Paris. And Robert stole this and eight other paintings from the museum in 1985. It was not recovered until five years later. I think that's a really interesting fact about that picture. Claude and Monet, wheat stacks, snow effect. The J. Getty Museum, Los Angeles. The J. Paul Getty Museum, Los Angeles. Monet constantly tried to capture the changing light in his painture. He often painted whole sequence of pictures of the same view, like in his famous Haystack series. So this is the picture. I talk it up. Claude Monet, Water Lilies and Japanese Bridge, 1899, Princeton University Art Museum. At some point, Monet didn't actually make enough money from his painting to enable him to buy a house, a big garden in Geneva near Paris. Six gardens worked for him, and he painted almost eh, only views of flowers. His and chatting garden. 
further reading. You can see how Monet lived at his home in Geneva, France at www.foundationmonet.com So, this was today about Claude Monet. Tomorrow we're going to read about the next art, Auguste Renoir. Um, hope you enjoyed about Claude Monet today. I'll see you soon. Bye.